I'm here with the man himself, the legend himself here, Penn Trafford. Hi, I'm John Carlisle. I'm a teacher here at the high school. Uh, I teach history and uh, some business classes, and uh, we're trying to uh, start this esports company, you know, for us here. So, yeah, so um, have a nice program. Yeah, and you're teaching a class right now. What's it called? So this is actually called Evolution of Gaming right now. We're transitioning. It used to be like a older style, like computer programming, board gaming. Now we actually have a you know gaming arena inside, so we're transitioning into esports more. So uh, I heard you talking to maybe some Valorant, yeah. Rocket League, Fortnite, uh, and they're so excited to be able to do this during the day now. Yeah, I mean that. I mean that's just blew my mind when they told me like we have a gaming class, we play Valorant. And I'm like, wait a second, this yeah. is insane. This is crazy. Never knew this is just. Did you ever think you know you'd have, get so much support? You know, from the school and from everyone together, you know, supporting this, you know, the esports world, especially being a new. When I went to college to teach, this this was a dream. You know, I, I used to play myself all the time. Um, I would go to some land tournaments. I, in my wildest dreams, I never thought that I'd be teaching and then have an opportunity to coach esports. Uh, I have the incredible support from the administration all the way up to the superintendent, and they're pushing it and they love it. Um, and again, the arena right now, we have 15 gaming PCs already. So, uh, Pen Trapper is going to be a, a household name here in the local community. Uh, and our, our goal eventually is to uh, maybe uh, be able to host some events, yes. you know, and some land tournaments and things like that for ourselves in the future. Yeah, you definitely have the you know, facility already at 15. You can easily host, you know, a, a playoff or a championship here, you know, as we as continue to grow on. So, what are some of the benefits you're seeing maybe from the students that are getting involved with the esports club? Uh, maybe talk on that, what, yeah. what you're seeing from there. Great quite A lot of motivation. Um, it, to give you an example, some of these students, uh, they're, they're, I think, working harder in school now because they they can see that, you know, hey, I need to get done with this first so I can practice and I can put more time in, you know, preparing for my Rocket League match this week. Um, team, team skill, team bonding. Um, you know, there's like five students out there that did not know each other before the school year wow. started. Now they're like really close friends. Um, you know, they, they talk, they practice together, um, just social skills and, and the whole, uh, when we, we do watch film, we watch streams, we watch the VODs and, uh, we study, <laughs> yeah, just like that. And, uh, I think we lost that one actually, but, uh, yeah, we, game. yeah, we, we, uh, we, we focus a lot on what we could have done better. And I just think that makes you a better student overall. Yeah. Like you struggle with something and you get better at it. Teaches them the bit, yeah, basics of it. And so, what are some of the similarities, like you may, may mention there, with traditional athletics to esports? You know, for someone that's new to esports, how can you compare those two and their similarities? Absolutely. So I coach uh, right now. I coach volleyball. I do the JV and I help out with varsity volleyball um, simultaneously with the Rocket League team going on. And uh, there's a lot of crossover. Uh, it's the same types of skills where you, you gotta you gotta have that mental toughness and uh, some of the Rocky League players actually play on the volleyball team. Uh, and I think, honestly, the whole esports uh, game and, and the team is, is really helping them uh, become closer and more motivated to do well on the court of volleyball. Um, but the same, you know, same skills is uh, what did we do wrong? What can we improve on? Uh, and just the analytical skills of, uh, you know, for, for Rocky League, like the angles and, and, and looking at the, the, the math behind it. I know it sounds weird, but it's true. Like, yeah. You are picking up on a lot of geometry and, um, you know, I think most importantly, just the, just the, the soft skills that we're getting, you know, the teamwork, um, you know, problem solving, yeah. that, that stuff is just, you know, it's just, that we'll, we'll have with them forever. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think? Like, last question here. What's the future of Penn Trafford Esports look like? Uh, future is, uh, you better put your sunglasses on cause it's going to be pretty bright. Um, we, we are going to be, uh, a force to be reckoned with here for a while, a uh, long time coming. Uh, we have the support that we need. Uh, we have awesome, uh, we, we have awesome companies that we're working with, like the eSport company right here helping us out. Um, and I think this is really just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, in a couple of years from now, I, I, I really do think that we are going to be able to, uh, compete with the best of the best and, Hopefully by then there's going to be even more leagues, yeah. um, and you guys are getting bigger and bigger. Right, I mean it's growing so, the tip of the iceberg. Like you said, this is baby steps, especially in this region. I mean, you're probably are you the one of the first in West Moore? I believe yeah, we I are. Um, we are, I believe, the first uh, school to have an esports team. Um, I know in Westmoreland County, there's another school that's trying to follow us from very close to us. It's actually a neighboring district, Norwin. 
Okay. Um, they've reached out to us and they've asked us questions like, hey, what have you done to get started? What kind of computers do you need? What do you do here? You know what I mean? So they're looking to us for some advice and I think that's really cool. And um, the more schools that get other programs up and running, it's going to help everyone else. Exactly. Again. Yep. You know, it raises, you know, the, I forgot what the saying is about the tides, all tides rise or I forget yeah. what it is, <laughs> but you know what I get at. So, Hey, I appreciate your time. First of all, letting us come out here and interview the students and you know, being yeah, I appreciate school, you guys coming out here so more than fun. anything. This is for them and everything we're doing is for them. And that's, they, I know they appreciate it. Uh, these are students. So let me just finish one story real quick yeah, no here. Uh, well, one player uh, <laughs> is really, really good at uh, Rocket League and, um, and a couple of them, they said, oh, we're so happy after we won the semis match last week. And I'm like, we're in Discord. I'm like, well, what do you mean? Why are you so happy? I, mean, I know we won. He's like, you know, we've never really been a part of something like this before. And that, that hearing that is just, that, that just makes everything, every minute, every moment you put it into this, so worth it. Because, uh, you know, they might not be able to play a traditional exactly. sport sometimes. You know, to have this team bonding and, 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 and pride is just something that you can't teach. Right. And that's awesome. Yeah, and they're going to be here on May 1st, too, the event. So, yes. so there, it's going to be fun in person. So uh, we'll be sure to catch up with everybody there at St. Francis University. Penn Traffic will be represented uh, for some Rocket League. And I uh, can't wait. I'm excited. Absolutely. So I appreciate thank your time. Again, thank you so thank much. Thank you for appreciate this opportunity. This is so, fantastic. I love it. It's fun. All righty. I think we're good to go.